We'll use our previous combo box program to learn how we can pass information to sub procedures. We're going to create our own separate sub that will display a sentence using the animal, color, and verb that we have selected in the combo boxes on our form. So we'll start typing with the word sub. And we'll call this make random sentence. We'll get to the randomness in the sentence a little later on. We're going to begin with something we already know how to do, and that is just to simply write some code and make something happen. We will declare a variable inside this sub, a string variable, and then use that as part of what we're going to display in LBL sentence. We'll call this variable str noun, and we will assign it the value horse. That will be part of what we're going to display in LBL sentence .txt. We'll say your animal is a, and then we'll use the variable str noun, which currently contains the value horse. We'll head back up to where we're going to display a sentence inside that button click event for that, and call make random sentence. That will activate the make random sentence sub. And as we run the program, when we click create sentence, there it is, your animal is a horse. You may notice at this time there is nothing in the parentheses after make random sentence, either when the sub is activated or in the code. Well, let's get rid of declaring the variable inside the sub and instead declare it inside the parentheses. When we do this, it's a parameter. It's a parking spot waiting for a value to show up. This will make more sense a little later on. We're going to use by val right now. We'll learn more about that at a later time. You, know, you go back up to where we actually activate the sub, and you notice there's a red squiggle because this is no longer a valid call to the sub. You notice that it's expecting a string. We have to send it a string inside the parentheses. We'll click inside there. And we'll type the word horse in quotation marks. That's a string. And that will arrive in that parking spot. Horse is considered an argument like an automobile or an airplane. It will take off down to make random sentence, that sub, and it will park itself in str noun. And then str noun will equal horse. It will receive a copy of that value. Your animal is a horse. Well, now we can use what was in a combo box. We'll have str animal be the value that is sent down into the parking spot in make random sentence. str animal is an argument, like an automobile or an airplane, that lands in the parking spot or parameter. We selected dog. There it is. Your animal is a dog. Select zebra. Now zebra is sent down to that sub. Whatever the value of str animal would be, a copy of that is sent to the make random sentence sub. And that's what str noun will equal. Again, it's a parameter like a parking spot waiting for something to arrive. And in fact, something must arrive. Well, let's use more of the values that we've got. And again, we'll start with by val. This is optional in Visual Basic. We're going to use it right now, and we'll explain later on in another video what it means. We'll have str verb and str adg. That is short for adjective. And they're all strings. Now, once again, we have a red squiggle back up in the button where all of this is activated because the signature no longer matches. We're, we have one string in the parentheses, but the make random sentence sub has three parking spots. It's expecting a string and another string and another string. So we must send it three strings. And the order matters. What's inside str animal, a copy of that will go down to str noun, and that's what it will equal. What is in str verb up in the button goes down to str verb and make random sentence. They are two totally different variables that have no idea what the other one's name is. They don't care. They, just because they're the same name, they are not the same variable. str color, whatever that value is, a copy of that is going to be sent to str adjective. And now all three of these, str noun, str verb, and str adjective, will equal whatever was sent to them. We'll take what we were putting into our label, 
or actual sentence and adjust because there is no more an str color you see it's got a red squiggle we don't have str color down here str adj short for adjective that's been declared for this sub any variable that appears in a parameter spot is declared for the sub we'll use str noun and we've already do have an str verb so now we can run our program and when make random sentence is activated three values are sent to it and we can get a sentence we'll select dog licked red and there's our sentence Well, that's just one sentence. We were going to make random sentences down here. So we're going to declare a random object back at the top, a class level random object. So it's initialized right away at the start of the program. We'll call it R-A-N-D. So dim R-A-N-D as new random. We'll head back down to our make random sentence sub. And we will give some information about what the sub is supposed to do now. Randomly select and display a sentence. We'll declare an integer variable to hold the random number. We'll call it int sentence num. And it will equal rand.next4. That makes sure we'll have a value of 0, 1, 2, or 3. And this random number is going to help us pick a sentence to use. Now you can use an if in this situation. We're going to use select case. We're going to select on int sentence num and that will help us to select a random sentence there are four cases case 0 case 1 case 2 and case 3 those are the only possibilities for what int sentence num could equal we'll take the sentence we already have and put it inside case 0 And then we'll make up three more sentences. You could feel free to make up some yourself. There they are. We have four different possible sentences that could be randomly selected. We'll take penguin, sniffed, and orange. And there's our random sentence. Next, cat, purchased, and green. Another random sentence. Penguin, sniffed, and yellow. Ooh, always be careful with yellow snow. But another random sentence. Penguin, purchased, purple. Purple penguins purchased in the cafeteria. A bit of a tongue twister. And a random sentence. str noun, str verb, and str adj are essentially declared in the parameter positions inside the parentheses. There's no way to put an apostrophe in there to explain what those variables stand for. So we need to put some documentation in at the very start explaining what they are. So str noun is a noun we're going to use for the sentence. I know it may seem kind of self-explanatory, but we'll put it there. We can go down a line, or if there's space, if you'd like to just go over to the right a little bit, that's okay. We'll give a description of str verb and also a description of str adj. It should now be clear what these variables represent, what it is they are holding. We can leave this documentation here, right at the very start of the sub, inside the sub, or you may like to take it and put it right before the sub begins. That's also acceptable. Either way is fine. But it's important to document any time you have a sub-procedure, you should explain what it does. And if there are parameter values, you should explain what they stand for. Of course, where you position that makes no impact on how the program runs. Still runs the same.